A new day begins for a continent almost halfway around the world from America. Situated on the equator in eastern Africa, Kenya supports one of the largest wild animal habitats in existence today. It's also a country of varied climate and topography. The sun's effects are more dynamic at the equator than any other place in the world. Local fishermen ply the waters of the Indian Ocean in small sailing dhows and use the sun as a clock that tells them when to go to sea. In this same area north of the town of Malindi on Kenya's coast is Italy's San Marco launch site, where satellites are put into orbit around the equator. Early this year, engineers and scientists from the University of Rome and NASA teamed together to place in orbit the kit in a series of atmospheric satellites. The San Marco base camp is on land, but the command and launch sites are three miles out to sea on what looked like two offshore oil platforms. Engineers and scientists make daily trips to the platforms by boat. The San Marco platform, named for the patron saint of navigators, houses a NASA scout rocket. It is here that engineers make final adjustments on the Italian built satellite. In all, five instruments, including one from Italy, one from the Federal Republic of Germany, two from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and one from the University of Texas, are packed into the small 500 pound satellite. Even the outside covering for the satellite is an experiment. Italian researchers designed it to measure forces of the atmosphere, much the way a bathroom scale measures weight. The Santa Rita platform serves as a launch control center. Roger. ACR 81. Aye, Roger. Mark 1 degree. Copy 1 degree. 124A, is your system go? All launch systems are checked and rechecked. After 10 months in the world, the satellite is now approaching the end of its planned lifespan. It will absorb some of the most important data as it gets closer to Earth. Mission San Marco, an international effort to better understand the dynamics of our atmosphere from around the equator.